the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's Parliament and on the sponsors of those bills. We will serve notice as well that if they replicate the same with our Speaker and members of Parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. In 2014, during the reign of Aminu Tambua, as well as David Mack as the seventh president, speaker of the House of us, House of Rep. We had this law that speak against the LGBT. Now it it happens that in Uganda they pass a law saying same-sex marriage is not welcome in their states. And the foreign government went ahead to ban the speaker of the house among the parliament and, and some parliament members. Now it's happening in Ghana and the parliamentarians in Ghana are not taking it lightly. This time they said if they receive sanction they are going to protect themselves as well by also restraining the West from also the business that they have in their states. The question here is this, why is it that the West always try to impose their ideology, I mean, their way of life to third world countries. If you don't do this, we'll not give you AIDS and all of that. And when you look at this carefully, you will understand that even the AIDS that they're talking about is something that they come to they harvest from your state and then come out, come back to give you some peanuts. So we're going to watch this video together of uh, this true Africanist who was talking about this whole issues surrounding this LGBTQ. Because Mr. Speaker, like it is attributed to Robert Mugabe, if we put two men in a room and give them 12 years, a 12 months to produce as an offspring, they cannot produce an offspring. And so Mr. Speaker, we will continue to stand here. But let me use this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, and I want to use this opportunity with the support of my colleague members of parliament, since we all support this bill, to serve notice to the Western powers that we have taken judicial notice of what they have done to the Speaker of Uganda. After Uganda, after Uganda passed the bill, after Uganda passed the bill, the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's Parliament and on the sponsors of those bills, we will serve notice as well that if they replicate the same with our Speaker and members of Parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. Because they, they serve in this country and make money from here and take back home. They cannot hold us to ransom. And like has been asked on this floor, Mr. Speaker, why is it, why is it that the American Secretary of State has not sanctioned the Secretary of Defense? Because June was declared Pride Month and they had transgender parades. The U.S. Secretary of Defense blocked and stopped a transgender parade on a U.S. Air Force base because he said the U.S. Pentagon which is their defense headquarters, would not support such activity. Governor DeSantis has passed legislation against open transgender parades in Florida. Why have they not taken on their own citizens? In fact, in 2022 alone, there were 433 actions in state house of legislatures across the United States, banning and clamping down on homosexuality. The Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, just last week, passed a landmark judgment enforcing the rights of American citizens to refuse to offer services to people on the basis of their faith and because they were LGBTQ. Mr. Speaker, it shows you that even America has realized the error of their judgment and are walking back their steps. Italy, 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 Italy in June designated June also as Family Protection Month to counter the, 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 L, the Pride Month. Maybe that's something Ghana should begin to consider, that we make June a Family Values Month to celebrate the Ghanaian family value. But Mr. Speaker, in wrapping up, in wrapping up, Mr. Speaker, the dangers of homosexuality are great. Persons who are homosexuals or transgenders, per statistics from the CDC, have at least six times higher rates of obesity, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts than heterosexual people. This has a consequence for our health bill as a country and, and public health, and we cannot turn a blind eye to this. I want to thank every member of this house who has supported this journey so far, especially the committee as well, in bringing us this far. Mr. Speaker, this bill 
will be passed to the glory of God. I cannot end without quoting the Bible. Mr. Speaker, the Bible is clear. In Leviticus 18.22, it says, Do not practice homosexuality. Having sex with another man as with a woman, it is a detestable sin. And for those who say that we are living under the dispensation of grace, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 10, don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourself. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or abusive or cheap people, none of this will inherit the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. So what do you make of this? Let's have you take out the comment section. Thank you for watching.